Ladies and gentlemen, John Mayer is back with his first new song in over three years. It's hard to believe that it's been that long since Paradise Valley came out, but I wasn't really that huge on that project. I'm a big John Mayer fan, but I really was not into that album as a whole. There were some great songs on there. If you've never heard ones like Lost at Sea, I Will Be Found, that one is just fantastic. He was really playing with a bluesy style, but today it is time right here on Beyond ARTV for a track review of the brand new John Mayer song, Love on the Weekend. It's a nice stripped down return to kind of the pop rock feel that he was going for early on in his career, like Room for Squares, and then of course some of his subsequent releases saw him playing with a little bit more of a different formula, but I like John Mayer returning to this. He's been touring for the past couple of years with Dead and Company, obviously uh, the Grateful Dead, a big influence on him. He really got into them. He kind of connected with one of the members of the group, and then it just kind of went from there. I think John Mayer is one of the best guitarists of the 21st century. Just a fantastic skill there, but he doesn't always show that off in his own music necessarily. He shows it off at concerts, and then obviously with Dead and Company, I, uh, my girlfriend and her dad saw them live, said he was fantastic. I would have loved to have been there. Just sounds like an absolute blast to watch play the guitar. But on Love on the Weekend, how does it sound? He's kind of taking an approach here with, like I said, taking a step back, incorporating a little bit of a bluesy feel, but doing what he does best. He's writing a damn catchy song. This thing is already stuck in my head. I listened to it 10 times in a row whenever I heard it for the first time. It's so catchy and I was just sitting here thinking this is a feel-good song. It's talking about a guy who is desperate. He's ready for the weekend obviously but he's ready for it for reasons unlike not like partying or something like that. He wants to spend time with this girl that he's with and he wants to take it all in and he's been fighting for it all week and they go through their ups and downs but at the end of the day it sounds like he just wants to be with her. And I love, there's one line, the way he sings it, it just kind of has a flare in his eye. And I love seeing that fire in a musician this late on. Mayer is going on 40 years old at this point, but he sings, oh girl, I want you like you can't understand. And just the way that he sings it and says it there, it's still like a little bit of like a flirt and a tease. Like he still has a spark with this relationship here. And I love seeing that. The guitar, the pianos, really just the chill atmosphere of this song all come together to make a really great track. I'm loving this thing. I, I Like I said, I've already been playing it over and over. I came across this song by accident. I got on Spotify and clicked new releases and just so happened to see that it just went live. It had less than a thousand plays and I was like, John Mayer has a new song. Is this a B-side? Is this a trick? And it wasn't. It turned out to be a fantastic new song that I'm recommending to you guys. This is all just my opinion, of course. Let me know what you thought about the song down below. Me, personally, I'm going with a 4 out of 5 for Love on the Weekend. And if you haven't heard it yet, there will be a link to stream it down below. Don't forget to smash the like button. And other than that, I will see you guys very soon right here on Beyond ARTV.